Hey there, everybody out in uh, YouTube and blog world land. Uh, this is Brian Bram once again uh, with uh, Eagles Wings Community Church in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, you know Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. Uh, it's definitely uh, true that we are in the midst of a cultural revolution when it comes to social media. And, uh, you know, social media is supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be a great way to stay connected with old friends and, and make new friends. And it definitely can be used as something to further the kingdom uh, and it can also be used to uh, even demonstrate our faith. Uh, unfortunately, it can also be used destructively and uh, on occasion, I've been uh, the, on the receiving end of that, uh, and it doesn't uh, doesn't feel good. So, what I wanted to do in this uh, blog is to sort of lay out some of the things that I've decided that I'm not going to do when it comes to how to use social media, and so just basically making some ethical guidelines uh, for myself and uh, and sort of sharing them uh, with uh, with other uh, people that read the blog. Uh, because I, nev I never want to have anyone unnecessarily hurt uh, because of any of my, uh, my activity on social media. Uh, social media is definitely something unique in the world today. Uh, it's unique in the sense that our lives are a little bit more open. Uh, our lives are open to a, a greater number of people. And... Uh, uh, as my brother-in-law was uh, talking to me about recently, uh, it, there's sort of a mixing of our lives that go on. There's a mixing of our home life and our work life and our church life, our life with our friends uh, and uh, our life with our relatives. Uh, so in the past, there, there may uh, have been certain things that we were able to hide from, for example, uh, our, our work uh, relationships. Uh, that now those uh, those people through some of this social media can uh, can sort of tap into, and sometimes that's great, and sometimes it's uh, maybe not so great. So it's a little bit of a unique uh, phenomenon that's going on. So overall, the message is that we want to for, for sure be careful, and we want to live a life that's worthy of the Lord and uh, pleasing to Him in every way, uh, bearing good fruit uh, in every good work. Uh, according to Paul's letter to the Colossians. So, blessings to you. I hope you enjoy the blog.